So we have the Midas MR18. I was recently working a concert and found that at line check, none of my 16 microphone preamps were showing up and working. Uh, I was not getting any level, no, no matter how much preamp gain uh, I gave it. So I suspected there was a problem related just to the preamps because my line input 1718 uh, were working and all the outputs, headphones and network capability were all functional. Um, so I unfortunately could not troubleshoot this on site because I didn't have the required Torx T15 and T10 bit to open the unit up. Uh, you will need uh, to remove 10, I'm sorry, eight T15 screws from the ends to remove these rubber end caps. Once you remove those eight screws, you'll need a uh, T10 driver to remove 14 screws, an additional four from each end, three from the bottom, and three from the back side. So you've got 14 screws to remove, and then the easiest way, I think, to remove this is to flip it on its, its head, and then slowly swing, lift, and kind of slide out the end with the power switch and uh, input for electrical. Swing that out, and away. And you will see that there are two ribbon connectors connecting the various boards in the unit. There's one here and one here. I think that this was my problem and this one was loose. Um, however, since I was in here, I went and reseated both of these. There's a little black plastic connector, like a, with two tabs, that holds this ribbon connector in. So you can kind of lift up on that and make sure this ribbon connector is seated fully in there and then push that back down again so that it's tight. Uh, I'll uh, move this a little closer so you can see. But that's all I did and I closed the unit back up and all of a sudden I had all my mic preamps again. So you can see that little black tab just below the blue on the ribbon connector. So that fixed it for me and uh, seems that I have all my microphone inputs again. So if this happens and you're on a job, I would definitely recommend trying to carry both a T15 and a 10, T10 driver so you can uh, remove the screws and hopefully save yourself from the stress and trouble that I did yesterday. Luckily, I had a good friend, Chris, who uh, brought over a substitute Behringer X, uh, X18 mixer and that, that saved the day. So. Hopefully this saves you some trouble, carry some driver bits so you can get in there and reseat those connectors if this happens to you.